day for a Monday, right? It, Especially after all that cold weather. All that cold, all those clouds and overcast. As long as the sun's out, I mean, we can deal with temperatures in the 30s. I think it, I don't know how high we got today, Mary, but it got to be almost pleasant outside. Of course, there's yeah. always the kid when I drop the girls off at school wearing short sleeves and shorts. <laughs> I, I don't what get it. What is that? Is that just, hard headed? Maybe it's defiance. Kids. You know, they're like, you know what? I'm going to wear short sleeve shirts and shorts because <laughs> I can. I don't, I don't, know. Get, I don't it. get it. I don't get it. I know my kids. I, I have one kid that's that way. I think some of that might come from me. It's a little stubborn. Uh, so, you know. Apple doesn't fall far, as they say. Uh, we do have a low pressure center. This building off the coast of California that is going to make its way our direction by Thursday. Until then, it's going to be a little chilly. Well, we can call it seasonal, but it is going to warm back up just a little bit. But, you know, it should be chilly <laughs> this time of year. Late November, early December, we should typically be trending in the upper 40s, uh, even near 50 degrees in some areas, more so in the middle 40s here across Colorado Springs. So Tuesday is going to yield a cooler start across the region uh, before we'll have even warmer temperatures by Wednesday. By Thursday, that system arrives right over the state of Colorado, and it is going to trigger high country snow for our southern mountains around the San Juans and parts of the Sangre de Cristo. So as we fast forward, into Wednesday because it's pretty much calm until about Wednesday night and then snow begins to move in across the high country. This system is going to come up from the south and west, uh, really targeting parts of Telluride, Pagosa Springs, areas across uh, the western slope as we move through Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. We will notice heavier snow developing for portions of the high country. The track of the system is going to trigger those high country areas. Uh, even around Alamosa in portions of the San Luis Valley will pick up some snow overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Here we are stopping the clock at about 7 a.m. on Thursday. Light flurries for lower terrain areas. It could yield some light accumulations of snow, but because the system is coming through during the afternoon and we're not looking at a lot of moisture across I-25 and the uh, lifting mechanism is really not there. I do think we'll start to pick up on some light to moderate snow for the eastern plains, but it's really going to be very minor accumulations for portions of I-25, if any at all. So this is going to be a system that will likely trigger high country snow, yielding light accumulations around El Paso County. So the timing is subject to change right now, Thursday morning through Thursday afternoon. Light accumulations for I-25. Uh, we will be tweaking that forecast just a bit as we move through the next 24 hours, so please stay tuned. But it does look like this is going to be more of a high country event. Of course, that is subject to change at least over the next 24 hours. After the next 24 hours, we'll be able to fine tune that forecast even more so for you. Temperatures will be in the 50s for tomorrow for El Paso County, 40s for Woodland Park, and around 58 degrees for Pueblo and into the upper 50s across the eastern plains and Wednesday is our last really warm day with highs in the 50s under mostly sunny skies before we'll get cooler conditions arriving by Thursday and that will drop us down into the 30s to near 40 degrees with only a 10 to 20 percent chance of a few flurries across the region. So don't count on widespread snow with this next system, uh, but do count on high country difficulties with travel as you move into Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon, especially west of I-25. Pueblo into the 50s, mostly sunny Tuesday, introducing a little bit more cloud cover by Wednesday afternoon as that next system approaches from our west, but temperatures will stay in the 50s for Pueblo County with dry conditions in the forecast and then will be cooler on Thursday as that next system comes across the region, giving us highs around the freezing mark in monuments and then gradually starting to warm back up as we travel through the first part of the weekend. Of course, Canyon City and parts of Woodland Park will also see those cooler temperatures as we get back down to the mid to low 30s on Thursday with a 20% chance of a few flurries. Again, most of the area picking up a lot of snow of areas just west of the Continental Divide and across the San Juans. Back to you guys. All right, we'll be ready. Mary, thanks. One of the industries that first brought people to Colorado 170 years ago is still going strong in the Pikes Peak region. Tonight, only on KRDO.